Hey Cancers, how are you? I'm going to be doing a general love reading for the sign of Cancer. Uh, this will be a general love reading, so this will not resonate for all of you. Uh, so take what you can, leave the rest. My readings are also timeless, okay? They'll find you when they're meant to find you. Uh, all of my info is in the description box below. I do offer uh, personal readings as well. Uh, you can find the information for those on my website once you're, once you're in there. Uh, what else? If this reading uh, does resonate for you, please hit the like button, share, and subscribe, and that way you'll be notified when I upload new readings for cancer, okay? Um, also, I'll be uploading after this a general reading for cancer. I have everything organized into playlists for, for each sign, uh, so you'll find both your, your general readings in there and your love readings as well. So, what I'm going to do with this, um, there's a lot of possibilities uh, that can come up for the love readings. Um, I tried to separate it into two different readings, didn't work well. So, um, I'm going to take a look at your energies uh, surrounding love on this side. And on the other side, I'm going to look into the energies of the person that maybe you don't know them, maybe you do, uh, maybe you've had a relationship with them, maybe not. You know, maybe you've dated a couple times, whatever the situation is, okay? So keep that in mind. There's a number of different possibilities uh, and a lot of different energies, you know, that are possible. So just keep that in mind uh, as you watch the reading. So with that said, let me go ahead and get started and see what we have for Cancers and Love. I'm going to start with your energies first, just to get a general idea you know what your what your current energy is um, at the moment um, in general, and then you know surrounding love or your love interest or whatever the case may be. Okay. So, and then I'll go ahead and get the energy of the other person on the other side. Okay. Okay. This one to come out. Ten of Cups. Spirit. What do we have? What's the energy for Cancers and love, please? Energy of Cancers. Okay. Energy of Cancers surrounding love, please, Spirit. What is the energy surrounding... Okay. Okay, let me get one more here. Spirit, what is the energy for cancer surrounding love, please? Thank you. Okay. Your overall energy, Seven of Cups. Okay. So Seven of Cups is saying right now you have you have options when it comes to love. Okay. This can also uh, state that you may be confused, uh, you may be confused about different options, you may be confused about something in general. Um, this is a cup of emotions, um, emotional energy, okay? It may be saying you're overwhelmed emotionally right now for, for whatever reason, because the cups do deal with, you know, emotions in general, okay? So let's see what else we have. So we have Ten of Cups, which is, that's the happiness card. So the Ten of Cups um, is my card for family happiness. It's it's emotional happiness. It's a ten. It's a completion of something. So it's, you know, it, it's the couple down here, you know, the adult crows. And then we have, you know, the babies here, which would be the kids. Um, you know, a lot of the decks show a, a couple with a dog and, you know, that type of energy. So that's a good energy to be in ten of cups energy we have three of pentacles which is about building something stable with somebody so that is also good energy 
King of Pentacles, this may be saying that you're you're working on, you know, becoming more stable, maybe financially uh, or in general. Okay, uh, this may be saying that you're willing to put effort into uh, your love connection. All right, this is a King of Pentacles. This is Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, but this is on your side here. So this is more than likely has to do with <clears throat> you working on stability. You know, maybe you're focusing more on work right now, or you've been working hard. I'll get some clarifiers uh, also. Then we have the Fool. Okay, this is the card uh, for Aries. Aries energy, the Fool, it's about taking a leap of faith when, you know, when you're not sure what's going to happen. Um, I was just watching, it's my favorite Christmas movie ever, and probably my favorite movie ever out of any movie. Um, Miracle on 34th Street. The original has to be the original, just saying. Um, but she says to him, or I, I'm sorry, he says to her, Fred says to Doris, faith is believing in something when common sense tells you not to, okay? So that's what the, the fool energy is about. Uh, then you have the Knight of Swords. This here is about um, communication. Uh, you know, this is definitely charging. This horse is charging uh, kind of towards the future here. Swords is that air energy. These are about thoughts, communication. So it, it you know, maybe this means you're open to communicating or you want to communicate with this person. Then you have the Page of Cups, but it's in reverse, okay? So this one here may be a hesitation on sending somebody a message or calling them. Um, maybe you're hesitating on telling them something that has to do with emotions, uh, that type of energy. Page is a, it's a newer energy, okay? It's less than, than an Ace of Cups. Um, a lot of it exists, you know, within us, but not without. So we haven't really acted on it very much yet but but it's there the energy is there we just haven't done a lot with it okay so now let's take a look into your person's energy okay i'm going to take a quick peek over here get their cards and then i'll come back and clarify on your side and then we'll get the energy uh between you as well and a possible outcome spirit what is the energy surrounding Cancer's love interest. What is the energy surrounding this person, please? What is the energy surrounding Cancer's love interest or who may be coming towards them? <laughs> First card out is the lovers. Okay. What else, spirit? What else? What other energy? What's the energy of this person of Cancer's love interest or who might be coming towards them? What is their energy, please? What is the energy of Cancer's love interest or someone who may be coming towards them, please? So I wanted to come out. Nine of Swords in reverse. That's letting go of a some type of burden. What else, Spirit? What is the energy of Cancer's love interest? Okay. King of Wands. We've got more than one here. King of Wands in reverse. Four of Pentacles in reverse. Knight of Cups. One more here. Thank you, Spirit. Six of Cups in reverse. Okay, their overall energy. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. So they may be feeling unstable for, for some reason. They may be, this may also say that they're not ready to put in um, the time or effort into a connection right now. 
uh, I'll get more when we clarify. Okay, so like I said before, they have they do have the lovers card. Okay, this is if you know this person, then they probably see you as somebody that they would want to be with. The lovers is a it's actually a major kind of card. Okay, this is about a, a very close um loving connection it's about making a choice to be with somebody this card is and i was actually reading about this the other day um this card the the lover's card and and actually i just noticed in this deck there's a snake in between these these two trees so there's two trees here in the crows which represent the people there's a heart in the middle this was actually um this card has to do with Adam and Eve, okay? Um, you know, the story from the Bible, if you're not familiar, um, when they were in the Garden of Eden. So, and then, of course, Eve took a bite of the apple she wasn't, she wasn't supposed to take a bite of. Blame it on the woman. Okay. So that's what the lover's card is about. It's a, because it's a choice. She, that was her choice, okay, to do that. So there's actually, you know, the snake here, which is the serpent in the Bible. The trees represent the Garden of Eden, and then the two crows, you know, represent the people. So the lovers is also about a choice. This person would be making a choice um, to come towards you, to speak with you, to, you know, but I feel if you do know this person, they feel a strong uh, connection or a strong bond with you. Okay, well, I'll get clarifiers later. Four of Pentacles in reverse. So they're letting go of something. Four of Pentacles can be about holding on to something too tightly. All right. So there's something that, that they may have let go of recently because they also have the Nine of Wands in reverse. Okay. Nine of Wands in reverse would, would speak about letting go of some type of heavy burden that they've been carrying. Okay um getting a weight off their shoulders what, whatever that would be you know i don't know then we have knight of cups this could be your person or this could just represent how they feel about love in general uh, knight of cups this is um you know about emotions knights can kind of come and go a little you know i don't know maybe their their energy may be wishy-washy at times when it comes to emotions um cups is generally you know that is about emotions and and has to do with love you know often king of wands in reverse so this is fire energy this is aries leo sagittarius this one's in reverse they could be this might signify some anger about something um because this is in reverse here that that fire energy you know, I've been talking about the Queen of Wands. She's come up in reverse more than once today. Um, and I and I said, you know, that's, you know, if, she, if the Queen of Wands is in reverse, she can be a real bitch. Same thing for this, you know. Um, same type of energy. Maybe some anger. Um, maybe energy of getting upset, um, overreacting, that type of energy. I'll get clarifiers. Gender doesn't matter as well. Then six of cups in reverse. Now six of cups is the card of nostalgia. It's also another emotional card, okay? Um, it's about emotions as well. Six is also about balance, okay? So this is a balancing of their emotions. Um, maybe they're trying to decide how they really feel about you if you already know them. Um, but it's in reverse. You know, a lot of times this can be about somebody coming back from the past. This one's in reverse, so it's almost like I don't know if this means somebody's leaving or 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 they don't know how they feel about you emotionally. If you do know them, I'll I'll get more when we clarify. So let me go ahead and start to clarify. I'm going to start on your side with this Ten of Cups and see what we have. Spirit, why is the Ten of Cups here, please? That one came out fast. So we have Temperance. Okay, Temperance is uh, a very spiritual card. I 
have reflection. Okay. Um, very spiritual card. It's an energy of patience. It's an energy of forgiveness. Uh, both of these. So maybe there's something you're trying to be patient with. Um, maybe there's somebody you're trying to forgive. What was this clarifying again? Ten of Cups. Maybe you're patiently waiting for happiness again. Let me get a couple more spirit. Two more cards, please. Why is the Ten of Cups here with Temperance? Here in reverse. <clears throat> this is a card of, of non-committal <laughs> um, energy. Maybe you're trying to forgive something from your past, okay? This could have been a relationship that ended. The Hierophant for me is a very spiritual card of um, a spiritual bond. Uh, somebody officiating a wedding ceremony, okay? Uh, Hierophant is typically shown as, you know, uh, in a religious organized you know, way like a church. I see it more spiritually, but I do, I do still see it as the Hierophant being somebody that, or, or, or spirit in general, that it's like, it's like a blessing from the spirit world about the union of two people. Um, I always try to think of the best way that I can explain it, but he's in reverse. So And he's with the Ten of Cups and Temperance. Let me get one more here, Spirit. Let me have one more, please. Why is the Hierophant here with Temperance? Why is this Hierophant here with Temperance, please? Why is this Hierophant here with Temperance? Maybe Spirit doesn't want to tell me. Nine of Cups. So this is something that made you... Un so something... This is saying to me like you 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 had your happiness in the past you had your happy family life um the house the kids the dog etc and then that ended okay it took your happiness we've got the temperance and we've got nine of cups in reverse so nine of cups is the other happiness card about emotional fulfillment so you were emotionally fulfilled before and then something ended and 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 now you're not or you weren't Okay, so that's that's basically what that's saying. Let me see what the fool is about. Why is the fool here, please? Clarify. Clarify the fool. Seven of Swords in reverse. Somebody betrayed you, or you feel like they betrayed you. Uh, and I feel like... I feel like you've been trying to get over that betrayal... Uh, the Fool is, let me get some more here because that is, I want to get some more clarification. Ace of Swords, you feel somebody was not truthful with you, okay? We got this Ace of Swords. Well, actually, both of these are in reverse. So maybe if you know this person, maybe the Seven of Swords in reverse and the Ace of Swords in reverse is saying that you you feel like you don't have to worry that they'll betray you. Um, you feel like they're honest with you. Um, or you might actually fear they're not honest. This one here should actually be in the upright. Let me get one more. Why is the full card here, please? Thank you. Chariot in reverse. Okay, so this is you, Cancer. This is in reverse. So this thing threw you out of sorts. Um, you know, your card here, a lot of this is about balance. It's about will and determination moving forward, um, letting spirit kind of take charge. It's just kind of saying that maybe you've just, you, you haven't been yourself. 
um, you're, maybe you're thinking about taking a leap of faith with something, but you're not sure. Let me see what we have for the Three of Pentacles. Why is the Three of Pentacles here, please? Knight of Swords. Okay, that's moving forward with communication. Actually, he's facing the past. Three of Wands. Um, this is, it, it's moving forward. It's wand energy. So it's um, looking, you know, it's kind of like being hopeful for the future, looking towards your future, um, trying to see kind of what's out there. Why is the Knight of Swords here? That one flew. Three of Swords in reverse. So you're getting over some heartbreak. Okay. I feel like this is Three of Swords in reverse. It's here with the Knight of Swords. Let me get another one, Spirit. Why is the Three of Swords here with the Knight of Swords? Thank you, Spirit. <laughs> thank you, Spirit. Just thank you. That can't make this shit up. This is the lovers in reverse. So you've got the lovers in reverse, three of swords in reverse, um, with the knight of swords. So it's like you you want to go towards this, towards something new okay mentally this is swords this is air it's your thoughts um you are getting over some type of relationship some type of you know you felt betrayed you were hurt that type of energy you've got that three of uh wands in reverse let me go over to the king of pentacles why is the king of pentacles here please spirit why is the king of pentacles here Please clarify. Why is the King of Pentacles here? Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, you felt when this over here ended, it, it made you feel really unstable. You lot like everything changed. You lost your stability, and now you're trying to work to get that back because you're in that. Oh my God! And I got another one flipped. Yeah. So the moon, more water energy, Pisces here. Um, the moon, that's healing energy. Um, you're working, you know, you've been working on healing yourself, you know, getting back stability, maybe working on your finances. I swear these cards, it looks like they flipped and then I go to find it and I can't. Okay, must have imagined it. Let's see this Page of Cups in reverse, Spirit. Why is this here? Clarify this Page of Cups, please. Why is the Page of Cups here? The Fool. So now we have the Fool twice. Different decks. You're afraid to take this. I feel like you're, you're thinking about taking the leap of faith you're thinking about moving forward you know with with the love connection whether you know this person or not and maybe you haven't even met them yet like i said before it could be any scenario um this fool is clarifying this page of cups in reverse okay so it's like I feel like that's you kind of you've got like one foot off the edge here literally on this card let me see please clarify the fool let me get another one on this why is the fool card here why is the fool card here please thank you so page of wands yeah this is Page of Wands, that's new energy again, okay? So that is, it's fire energy. It's an energy of movement. It's an energy of action. So you've got the Page of Cups in reverse. Um, confusion about 
something emotional, you know, emotional in nature with the fool and the page of wands. So this page of wands is, is saying, you know, you, you want to do this thing. If you know this person, this may be saying, you know, you find them attractive or, or you have passion for them, you know, or, you, you know, you want to jump off this cliff and be the fool, but you haven't done it yet. You're still in the page, um, page type of energy. Okay. So now let's go over to the other side. Let's see what we've got for this person in your love connection. Why is the lovers here, please, spirit? Clarify the lovers, please. Page of Pentacles. Okay, another page. So on their side, um, you know, they they if they know you, they want to come towards you. Maybe they already have same page energy, you know, like you have here. It, it's a small I, I call them like baby steps, okay? Pages to me are like it's baby steps. So then we have the Empress. So the Empress is like four queens rolled into one, okay? Um, the Empress is, it's earth energy. Very stable, very grounded, um, very nurturing, okay? The Empress gives birth to everything. Uh, the Empress is a, is a super manifester as well, okay? She can make shit happen. So I feel like, I mean, this person could be uh, an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I feel like it's saying, you know, sh this person wants to make this happen. We've got the lovers with the page of pentacles with the empress. Okay. Okay. So what else do we have? Let me clarify this four of pentacles in reverse. Why is this here, please, spirit? Thank you. Ten of cups in reverse. So they're letting go of, they have the ten of cups in reverse. This is that family happiness card that's in reverse. Um, they may be of they may also be letting go of something in the past a past relationship um it also may indicate that maybe they're letting go of the thought that they can't have this um maybe it's a, a feeling of doubt let me get another one why is it ten of cups here let me see if you know them, maybe they feel it won't happen. If you don't know them, maybe they just have doubt, you know, maybe they're just worried in general. Four of Cups in reverse with the Four of Pentacles in reverse. This is more letting go energy. So Four of Cups is typically, you know, they don't see the future. They're too wrapped up in the past. This person's letting go of their past. Um, oops, this one goes in reverse. They may also be, you know, there, there's two cup cards here in reverse. They might be letting go of their emotions for you. If you, if you've already had a relationship with them, or if you've already, um, I don't know, dated them for a while, whatever the case may be. Um, then we've got nine of ones in reverse. It's all this reverse stuff. Letting go. That's what we have here, nine of ones in reverse. So now it's here twice and the death card um, in reverse. So death is letting go of something in a rebirth. This is in reverse. I don't know. There's it's everything. All the other cards are letting go energy. But this death card is in the reverse. Let me clarify this nine of wands over here. Why is the nine of wands here, please, spirit? Why is the nine of wands here? Let 
Why is the Nine of Wands here? Six of Cups, again. They have this card twice. Um, over here it's in the reverse, and here we have it in the upright. Now this is that uh, nostalgia card. This can be somebody coming back from the past. They're letting go of this burden now. Why is the Six of Cups here? This person is letting go of a lot of stuff. Queen of Wands. Okay, this person may be uh, an air, air sign. I'm, I'm I'm the airhead, not the air sign. Um, Queen, <laughs> Queen of Wands could be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, this is fiery energy, uh, you know, lots of energy. These are passionate people. This could could mean this person is a fire sign. There's also the Knight of Cups over here as well. Um, that would be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, like yourself. But this Queen of Wands is with the Six of Cups and the Nine of Wands in reverse. Like this Queen of Wands is taking charge. There's there's some she's taking charge of something from the past. And it, it and it is with the Nine of Wands in reverse. It's like, I don't know, she's taking charge of just like letting it's like she's letting stuff go. It's it's keep feeling that over and over uh let's clarify knight of cups why is a knight of cups here please and if i say she it's because you know it's the queen of wands and it's, gender doesn't matter um i have to always say that because i'll just say she or he <laughs> according to what face i'm seeing on the cards gender does not matter okay knight of cups is here with seven of cups okay so this person may have may have uh, multiple options. They may have multiple options in love. Um, this can be confusion as well. They may be confused though if they see you as this Knight of Cups. They might be confused about how they feel about you if you know them. Or they could even be confused about, do I want to go talk to cancer? I don't know. I have I have more options. Do I really want to talk to them? Should I go with this other option? It can be that. Let me get one more and see. Why is the Seven of Cups here, please? Okay. I just lost them. Six of Pentacles. Okay, that's an equal give and take. Ace of Wands in reverse. They want, they want this, they want a con connection that is equally balanced, okay? This is the Six of Pentacles. This is about equal effort, equal give and take. Um, and this Ace of Wands is in reverse. It's the saying, you know, they may have, if you know them, they may have feelings for you. You know, they may find you attractive. They may um, want to act on that, but they're not, okay? So something is stopping them. It could be these other options. Maybe they're weighing out their other options right now. Let me clarify this King of Wands in reverse. But why is the King of Wands here? Why is this King of Wands here, please? Three of Cups. So the King of Wands in reverse, clarified by the Three of Cups. That can be celebrations with family and friends. The King of Wands is like a stopping of energy. Oh, this one's flipped. Oh. Two of Cups in reverse. <laughs> so Two of Cups, very similar to the Lover's card. This is in reverse with the Three of Cups and the King of Wands. Is there another card back here? For a second, I thought there was another card. 
So maybe this person just wants to like hang out with their friends and, and party right now. Uh, they're not interested in, in a love relationship at this time. Let me get another one on that. Why is this three of cups here? With the two of cups. The two of cups is in reverse and the three of cups is upright. Strange. Okay. Why is the three of cups here, please? Why is the Three of Cups here? Why is the Three of Cups here? Spirit doesn't want to tell me. Okay, thank you. Three of Pentacles. Okay, that's putting effort into something. Four of Wands in reverse. I feel like I think right now they're maybe just focused on, I don't know, the holidays or hanging out with friends and family. This Four of Wands is in reverse. Or maybe if they do, if you have dealt with this person before, maybe they see this connection is unstable. This Four of Wands is in reverse. There's no energy coming from them towards you. Um as far as movement, let me clarify this six six of cups in reverse. Why is the six of cups here? Why is the six of cups here? Let me do it this way. Save. Why is the six of cups here? Two of swords. Why is the Two of Swords here, please? God, every time I hit, hit the table. <clears throat> the Devil in Reverse and the Two of Swords with the Six of... Something about the past that they, they feel is, I don't know if they're letting go of something toxic here. Got the devil in reverse with the two of swords, with it, which can be confusion about a decision. Uh, let me get another one. Oh, okay. That was, thank you, Spirit. That was fast. And then this four of pentacles again, which they already had, but it was in reverse. Either they feel, either they're getting over something toxic from the past, or they feel like you're hanging on to something toxic from the past if you know them. Um, that one, I'm not sure what that is. Let me, let me see what the possible outcome is. Uh, actually, let me get the energy between you first, a little bit of little bit of that first what is the energy between cancer and this person please energy between cancer and their love interest or the person coming towards them in love energy of between cancer and this person please ace of cups in reverse no emotions right now let's see or one of you is holding back on emotions seven of pentacles are no effort okay let's see what else, Spirit? What's the energy of Cancer and this person? What's the energy between them? One more card, please. I don't feel like anything's happening right now. Okay, Justice in Reverse. Ace of Cups in Reverse. Seven of Pentacles in Reverse.
the justice card that's you know maybe somebody wanting justice but it's also about balance this one's in reverse there's an imbalance somewhere between let me get one more so let me have one more please what's the connection between cancer and this person thank you knight of wands so that's um that is energy movement forward um Knight of Wands, that's a fire energy. Um, that's, you know, that's movement, that's action, uh, initiative. But, but it lacks emotions right now somewhere. And there's a Seven of Pentacles in reverse here. So the Seven of Pentacles, that's effort as well. Okay, let me get the possible outcome. Okay, that was fast, Spirit. Nine of Swords in reverse. Okay, that's healing energy. Nine of Swords in reverse. It's getting over, um, you know, hurt, past hurt, pain. So it would be healing. What's the possible outcome, please, Spirit, for between Cancer and this person? Ace of Wands. Okay, so that is that is movement, new movement forward. What else, Spirit? The world. Wow, that one was a fire. Queen of Cups. So this is Queen of Cups. I call her the Queen of Love. So that is Cancer energy. Um, that's water energy. Anything else, Spirit? What's possible outcome here between Cancer and this person, please? High Priestess, okay, so the High Priestess, it's a spiritual card. It's about, you know, intuition. It's about spiritual downloads. It's another spiritual card. She's she's like the equivalent to the Hierophant, okay? Um, spiritual in nature, uh, sacred in nature, uh, very... It's a spirit-led card. It's coming from the universe. It is a major arcana, okay? It's a number two. Um, she uses her intuition to move forward. She uses her intuition to know, you know, what's going on. So we've got the High Priestess with the Queen of Cups. What else, Spirit? What's the possible outcome between Cancer and this person? Anything else? The cancer needs to know. This one wanted to flip. The death. <laughs> we have the death card, okay? Possible outcome could be the death card. That is, um, that also speaks of a rebirth. It could also be going along with the nine of swords here in reverse, which is like, um, it's a healing. It could be saying that, you know, past pain would come to an end, um, and then there would be healing taking place. You know, this is the Nine of Swords in reverse. What else do we have? We've got Five of Cups in reverse. One more, please, for a possible outcome between Cancer and this person. Ten of Swords. So I don't know. Cancer looks like 50-50. I don't know. This is only, this is possible outcome, okay? Um, everything else is up to you. We do have the Ace of Wands here, which is good. We have the Queen of Cups, which is good. Um, that's, you know, passion forward. That's um, emotional connection between you. High Priestess. Um, and some healing going on. So the death could be, like I said, the ending of some past pain. Um, if this relationship were, were to start or continue, um, depending if you know them or don't know them yet, that type of thing. Okay. So I hope this helped for some of you. If it did, uh, please feel free to leave a comment down below in the comment box. Uh, hit that share button, the like button, uh, subscribe to get notified. And if you hit the notification bell, you'll, you'll always be notified when I upload new readings for cancer. 
I hope everybody uh, enjoys the rest of their Saturday and have a great, great weekend. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.